Hello guys and welcome. Yes, it's another video. And today we are doing Metal Evil Engineers. Yes, this is one engineer to another. Well, sort of, I'm not actually an engineer. Um, actually, I only got an engineer qualification, so no, it's an absolute fucking newbie. Yes, it's. Oh, we're going to have a little go on Metal Evil Engineers. Again, I'm a newbie at it. I have got a little bit of... Um, things I got Metal Weaver Engineers yesterday on a key um, had a little planet it is a multiplayer um, it's been out for a little bit uh, it's still in early access but I'm sure people know a bit about what it actually is if you don't then read up on it I'm not going to tell you um, so yeah it's good I've been playing with a couple of mates um, obviously the main person that knows a lot about it is um, Slim uh, one of my mates on Steam um, I teamed up with him and we had a quick look around and he showed me a little bit more about the game um it, it's it is a very obviously a survival again another survival <gasps> how fucking surprised um but it's a survival that you seem to achieve something because a lot of survival games you get there and you, you achieve fuck all there's nothing you survive you don't even survive well that's just me anyway but um normally i'm dead within like 10 or 15 seconds but Metal Wave Engineers, you, you achieve something, you know, it's a compu mission. As you can see, there is obviously other players on the server as well, there's loads of servers. Um, and you build you build a house or so on. As you'll see, we'll go through a little bit. Again, I am quite new at this game, I only had it yesterday, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I know the basics of what you're meant to do. Um, but yeah, let's just hop straight back in, shall we? Right, so obviously I've clicked to join Weld, as you can see up the top there. Um, let's go have a join on the start of the end eye. Let's just jump straight in it. Again, you've got different game modes. You've got survival or you've got creative. So there's, there's two different ones that you've got. Okay, we won't jump into that one. The, the server host has left, left the game. Right, so what we do is we just start a new game and we build it up from there. You've got Empty Planet or you've got Metal Evil Earth. Metal Evil, ladies and gentlemen. Metal Evil. Um, we're going to call this... Let me just do an Empty Planet. Uh, we're going to call this a name that we can actually call this. Hang on. Let's turn the sound down a bit here. There you go, there you go. Oh. Right, so new world, empty planet. We're going to call this uh, um, engineer no friends. Uh, again, we've got creative, that's building its instance. Players can fly and they cannot die. So you can fly like Superman, but you're not going to die. Or you've got survival. Now survival, building requires resources. Players cannot fly. I mean, why would you want to fly? And they can die from injuries or starvation. So we're going to go with survival. Online mode. Yeah, I'm, I can make it public. That means people that find my thing can just jump straight into it. Uh, join me or just kill me, basically. Um, you've got max players of four. Yeah, I don't really care. It goes right up to 100 players you can have on a serve. Um, I'll, I'll just go 20. Auto save every five minutes, selective is default again. There is mods for this game in the Steam Workshop if you want. You can play with mods online, um, but if you join a server that's got them mods, everyone has to have the same mods. So, yeah, the interest of fairness and all that bollocks. Selective player, we've done that. Yeah, so let's just go. Let's just go. Go. I'm not, I'm not playing with any mods. I haven't got any mods on here. So, let's see what we can do. The engineering game to someone that's not engineering, but I've got common sense, so you know, well, a little bit of common sense, but I've got a bit of common sense. So let's load this up and I shall show you what it's like. <laughs> right, so this is the empty palette. Oh my god, my eyes have gone all funny. Right, um. Again, you've got some word in there that you oh you can't see because I'm actually sit 
I am right on it. <sighs> um, let me just move my camera to the bottom. There you go. So, as you can see, you've got humble beginnings. Engineers need tools. Yes, they do. No engineer is any good without his tools. Uh, find some sticks and stones to craft a stone axe. They can be found in the forest. Stones are on the ground. And sticks can be pulled from the small trees. So, this is like the little tutorial objection sort of thing. So, you know, um, I've got to go into the forest. Go down into the woods today with a surprise. A <laughs> oh, one big fat. Um, so, yeah, we've got to collect some wooden sticks, three, and a small stone. So, let's go and do that. If you push V, you get there. Look, there, there I am. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There she is. Look, there's. Wee hee! See, look. I could look right up her. There it is. There's her legs there. Look, underneath her dress. Well, look, ladies and gentlemen. See her ass. 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 <laughs> anyway, there I am. I am a woman. There's my neck. And there's my crack. Right, anyway, let's get on with this, shall we? Let's stop being playing, playing around. Oh, God, I can't even get. Uh, 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 uh. Right. Right, let's go. So we need to find some. Uh, some wooden sticks and some stones so like this tree here we can get that you can harvest a, more, a small tree like so on and then you've got stones that are laying in the in the woods the forest whatever um, they need collecting and it is basically engineering you, you do need to build you need to eat as you can see on the left hand side there you've got food stamina and health health at the moment is 100 of 100 and obviously stamina as I run faster that obviously goes down so let's grab some things. We need to craft a thingy. So got enough of that. Again, there is animals in this game, and obviously when you play on multiplayer, there is AI. There's still AI on multiplayer. Because me and Slim, one of my mates that we play this and we have played for the last couple of nights now, um, we there was an axeman and we were just starting out. And it, it, it was quite funny actually, because we were just starting um, a game. We we're just building the base of our house. And um, this act, this axeman came along with a sword. I think he's a barbarian, and he came running at us and he tried to stab us. But being an AI, they're not that most intelligent people in the world. Um, so we built we built a trench around the actual base or like a hole, and if, he, he was following me all the way there. And once I actually got in there, um, it was it was quite funny. He fell down the hole, and he couldn't get out. And then all the other ones, every time we kept getting attacked by the AI, luckily we didn't get attacked by um, a human, um, but we got attacked by AI. And every time we got actually attacked, they kept coming over and over and over. Or we just kept dumping them in a the fucking hole. They got themselves in a bit of a situation. Right, so we've got that, so we push I here. As you can see here, this is your inventory. You've got the inventory here, this is what you're obviously holding. And this is the crafting section. Again, it's all done split into four different things. We don't need that, just put on our all. Stone axe, that needs three and one. You craft that, that starts there. Once that's craft, that goes to the right hand side. You click the right one there. Bring that into here, should be there automatically, it is. And that's done. So now we've got a crafting thing. So where we need, we need, we need to find a place where we're going to actually um, where we're going to find I know the tutorial's doing that but I, I need to find a place where I'm quite happy I'm going to build a little house um, and I ain't building it on a hill I could build it up the top now uh, again these maps are massive engineer no friends have been saved they are massive massive maps really big did I say they're big maps because they are quite big um, I just need to place, find a place that I can actually put down and call my, it's home. Home, home, home. Again, as, as you can see there, you've run out of stamina, so um, you got to wait until, you know, she's got a bit more going up. We're going to have a look over here. Again, we're going to pick these here. These, these are not absolutely jack shit, so you don't pick anything from that branch because it's useless. It won't work, so don't pick up. There's a stone. Oh my god, there's a stone. 
Young man. Um, right, I'm going to build my little place along here. We're going to have one going off left there, one to the right, and I'm going to... Oh, what's that? Pumpkin, I can eat that. I'm going to put it up in this bit here. Probably not the best place if someone comes along, but fuck that. Don't worry about that. Right. I'm going to place this over here. So that can go in there. Put that in there. That's that. As you can see, it's not very um, well done yet. I'm going to chop some trees down. Again, be careful when you chop the trees down because obviously you can chop them. And if they, if they land on you, you're dead. Literally, you can get flicked up and you die. I'll show you that clip now. I believe I can fly. Right, as you can see, they do fling you right in the air, and obviously that was my first time playing it. And when I actually played, played it, I thought, hang on a minute, Saint killed me, Saint happened. No, it's because I got hit by a tree. At the time, I didn't actually realise it, but yeah. I swung myself miles away, miles away. Again, there's quite a lot of games like these, um, where you basically just got to keep building stuff, excuse me. Ah. Oh. Um, no, no, come back, come back, come back. No, no, don't run down the hill. Don't do it. Come here. Again, you can move everything in this game. You can actually do absolutely, just move it with your feet. Right, so let's, let's, uh, let's clip these, shall we? Clip. It's amazing, actually, that you can, she can hold on to them and actually put them in like a little backpack, little bum bag. Mate, incredible, really. Right. So there we've done that, we can craft a table. Okay, so let's do, a, let's do a table. Inventory, again we can do this. It needs two logs, so we've got plenty enough to do that. So we, we do that now. That's in there, that's number two on there. So let's push I and get that. Number two, and this is a crafting table. Again, you can push R and Q to put it wherever you like. It's entirely up to yourself. You, you can do all sorts with it if you want to, but we're not going to. Let's just put that back to where it was. I ain't got a clue what I've done. Ha <laughs> ha! Woohoo! Right, let's put that over here. Uh, we'll put that on there. Okay, so you've got that. Now, obviously, it's saying you need to craft a bed. Uh, what this game is, once you put a bed down, you craft a bed, you put a bed down, you claim it. Once you claim it, that's your area. Um, no one can do anything. At the moment, if a multiplayer person or a human player just comes along and finds my camp, he can actually destroy loads of this stuff at the moment because I haven't actually claimed the area as mine. Um, but we, we can do that. Push F here. You've got a bed there and basically it needs four timbers. So we've got three at the moment. So we need to we need to craft some timbers, but first we need to knock down a tree. We'll get this big one down here. Timber! There's berries there, look. We'll take them. Again, you need to look at your food department. Um, drinking wise, luckily this game isn't needed. You don't need to drink in this game. Don't need to. But you do need food. Um, food will help quite a lot. So we're going to go to the here. Or oh, we don't really need to do that at all, really. We just need to go. I. Timbers in each one of them. It's 
So we've got five, six, seven, eight. So let's come out of that. Um, go over to here, push it F, bed. So it needs four timbers. So we just put five in there. That comes, the bed opens up, push craft, put that in there, put the bed in this column here, come out of that. Now I can push three, and I've got the bed that I've just made. And I can claim it. So yep, yeah, that's it, so that's my logo, that is me now, warmth and joy. It's time to build a fire. Small stones are required, so we need a wooden shovel. Craft a shovel. Don't need to do this for stones, um, but I will show you. And some sticks, right, let's go and grab some sticks quickly. Again, it's on a public server, so anyone can join this. All of some they could join in, um, and obviously cock it, cock it right up for me um, if they wanted to. But I'm sure they won't do that. Shovel. We need four sticks. Let's just lob them in the crafting thing. So let's go over to this crafting table. Push F. Put some sticks because we know we need sticks. Get the shovel. Craft the shovel. Shovel sits in the crafting area. Put that to number four because that's where it goes. And now on this game, you can actually shovel anywhere you like, to be honest. It's not letting me do it. I don't know why that is. Oh, it still contains items. Okay. That'd be fine. Oh, that's better. For some reason it didn't do it last time. So now I've got a shovel. I can, in this game, you can just dig forever. So if I wanted to dig, say, in this bit here. My house is going here, but if I wanted to dig here. Just dig. You could pick up the, the inventory. It's full. We right click on the berries. As you can see on this side here, it would start going up. So once I get this pumpkin, you can see it goes up, and that, that, that's basically how you survive and eat, basically, that, that's, that's as simple as that. Again, you can really dig deep, and you can go as deep, as high as you like. Um, that's quite good, because you can make shapes and tunnels, and just keep going, it's, it's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Did I say it's quite good, that? That's quite good, that, yeah. So we've got to collect some more stone. Let's go and have a look for some stone then. Oh, look, that's convenient, isn't it? Alright, so now we can go and build the campfire. So this here, this needs nine stone. So let's bring ten of them in. We'll get rid of the sticks there. craft that and obviously the campfire is obviously what it's used for it, it is for basically um, why don't that do it oh is it was, did I leave it in my the inventory I might have left it in the inventory yeah, all right, let me just... There it is. And now, obviously, I can put the fire anywhere I like. I'm going to put it over here. Um, so, yeah, we've got that there. And now, obviously, you can move it around if you like. Um, and when you go up to it, you push F, you can get rid of it. Bring it back. Anything you like, but as you can see, actually, I don't, I don't like it there. Let's move that. 
I want it up higher. There you go. Push F. And you can make, you can obviously roast meat on it. You can do soup on it. You can do salad and you can do roots with shrums. Um, to do them, see if you wanted them, you needed three berries, two mushroom and one root. Um, again, this is the campfire crafting bit. This is obviously what you've got on you. Um, so you've got two different areas there. So yeah, we can do that if we like. We need some berries and mushrooms. So we'll have a quick look. We'll have a quick look while we're walking around to see if we can see anything. And there's some berries, there's some roots. And now we need some mushrooms. There will be some mushrooms somewhere along here. There's some. Well, hopefully that's enough. Should be. Oh, there's a deer over there, look. I was going to say, you do get a bit of wildlife in this game. Um, but the only good thing about the game is that it act you actually achieve something, you know? That is normally you don't achieve fuck all. Didn't I put the mushrooms up? Mushrooms! Come back home, mushrooms! Where were they? I've got them well fucking done now. Oh, don't say I lost them. Right, oh, we've lost them. Oh, there's some. Just have the. I don't know where the others are gone. No. No. Pick the mushrooms up. Sod the berries. We've got enough of them. Right, mushrooms. Pick the mushrooms up. Yay! Right, let's run back to base. Quick! Huh! Huh! Leap! Leap! Right, lob that on here. And then what we do now is that we put the mushrooms in there. That's crafted that, that's opened that. So now it needs three of them, two mushrooms, one root, it's there. Okay, to light it, you need to light it first. It won't do anything without you being lit, so you need to put sticks. That is what is fuel in this game. Um, once that's done, as you can see there, it's lit in the middle of the screen as we speak. Now it needs crafting, so we will craft the soup and we are doing that at the moment. Right, so a quick drink. As you can see, the sticks only last, look, there's one second left and that's it, bang. They don't have a long time. They, they burn out very quick. But we've got the soup, we can put that into there. And that's done. We, we don't need that at all no more, so... Well, we will later on, but we don't at the precise moment. Um, right, okay, so let's see if we can do the mallet. I need some mallet. We've got a timber. And we need some wooden sticks, so let's go and have a look. At the wooden sticks. Start by finding some mushroom. Oh, does it want me to consume it first? I think it wants me to consume it. Hmm. Did consume it, but. Eating raw mushrooms can keep a person alive, but engineers do better. Start finding some mushroom roots and berries in the forest. Okay, well, let me just go and find them quick. Actually, sod the tutorial. I don't care about the tutorial. Let's just get some sticks and start doing man stuff. Wooden sticks. I want a mallet, so let's create a mallet. Because once we've got a mallet, like we have now, Seven, we can start building this. Right, need some more timber. We ain't got any timber, so we've got to go to our crafting. No, we don't, just need to go there. Timbers, need some wood. Manet. 
sticks. Um, we want with that. Right, let's just get back to doing this. Again, obviously, to do this, when you get buildings, they need building. Um, that's what part of the engineer sort of stuff is. So, obviously, once you get them, you need to build them. Otherwise, it's, it's just bloody useless. Um, as you can see down the right hand side, um, available, required, and installed. Obviously, first, second, and third. We've got 13 timbers. The required amount is eight. Um, we've got 12 sticks, and the required amount is two. So you just keep knocking this. Obviously, on the left hand side there, every time I do it, it goes up, as you can see. Still not done yet. It's still not done. 80, 96, 100. Okay, so that, that's fully that's built now. Don't need to do anything more on this. And basically what this does is it holds logs. So save for this one here. Hopefully this won't ruin the... Um, timber! Scan right and scan between a minute. Oh, right. So let's just say, for instance, it's basically so you don't have to keep holding them in your inventory. Again, all all actual um, things have a thing on them, so obviously you've got to be careful of that. They've only got a certain amount of time. They use obviously that's what the green bar is down the bottom hand side so let's just click that click that click that click that that's full we go to here push f again this is the stockpile so i can stockpile all the logs in here move them over push i to get out and then as you can see they're all stored in there you can no one can come along and take them unless you give them permission um, that you'll see soon I can put once I start building a house and stuff like that I can actually put a marker down uh, and then I can let other people build in the area um, but if someone comes along here and they haven't got the privilege to do it they could they can't do anything absolutely nothing um, right okay so let's have a look and see what we're doing next that wants me to pick up some berries I'm going to see if I can find some berries. There they are. Mushrooms. It wants me to pick up some mushrooms as well. There's some over there. Again, it's quite easy um, to lose where you are in this game. You know, I've got lost quite a few times. Um, actually, I've got lost while playing with Slim. Um, and I couldn't, I couldn't absolutely find him. We, got, we both got lost in this massive map. Um, and we had to sort of work together. Uh, we had to join Discord and have a good think about where we are and what we're on the map. And eventually, we found each other. But yeah, it's, it's a nightmare. You can't <clears throat> you can't get lost quite easy. Oh, that's not it. But so soup. What's that? That that that. Berries. Mushroom sticks. Let's see if this one works now. Done. Craft a wooden mallet. Already got one. Already got one. Yeah. Wants me to do it, but obviously I, I've done one step ahead of the actual tutorial, so I don't need to do that. I mean, for. Right, where does that come from? Again, obviously I. I don't know where that's coming from. Sounded bloody close, whatever it was. Um, wooden mallet, it wants me to do one, so let's just do it. It needs some sticks, so let's go and grab some sticks. Grab it from this Christmas tree looking thing here. Oh, he knows what I've done, right? Okay. 
Um, open the G screen by pressing D, then drag log stockpiles to the toolbar. Place the log stockpile into the world. Log stockpiles. See, I've gone a bit. Ahead. I've gone a bit ahead of myself here, but. make some weird fucking noises I tell you. Finish building the log stockpile. Okay, so it wants me to basically do what I've just done there. But for the purpose of the video I will just build it. Not enough construction. I need some timber. Typical now. I ain't got any. Take two from there or three. Push I for in that, that. Craft some. I don't know how many we need, but I'm sure that I do. So that's done, that's it. Bright tomorrow. All engineers know how to build basic blocks, but doing research, engineers can learn how to build many more things. Prepare by crafting some timbers. So we need eight timbers, so we need to come in here. Five, well we have got some timber, but there you go, right. So I could do the research table now, so go to the crafting table. That's obviously this is your crafting table. Um, again, for the research table, it needs eight timbers. So if we just put in them, that can come out, they don't need that now. So there's five of them, four of them. That's that, we can craft that. Now this is where you research stuff. This is where you research better weapons. You can re you can research loads of different things doing this basically. Um, so let's just put the crafting in number six for instance. So this is here, I'm gonna turn it. The deer's coming over it. We're all right for food today. Yeah, can I? Yeah, you run off your chicken. Look at you, look at your arse running. Do you think I'm sexy? Mm -hmm. Right. So, carpentry is a good starting point. Gather the items needed to research it. You can see what is needed by clicking the carpentry while accessing the research table. So, let's just click this. I didn't click it there. Now I have. Again, you've got ironworks, you can research ironworks. Again, this will tell you what it needs for the ironworks to work. Um, stoneworks is here. Carpentry is this, so you need eight timbers, um, large diagonal and a wooden mallet. There's a wooden mallet. Put one in there. This is obviously the craft research thing. It needs it all in there before it can make it. So obviously that's gone clear now because I put the mallet in. It needs a crafting table. So I need to do another crafting table to put in there and it needs some timbers. So let's just get on with that and do that quickly. Right. So if I go back to this item here and obviously we're going to do carpentry five ten that's gone clear so now we need some diagonal timbers take them all out of there so these are diagonal timbers here that needs one log to do it so let's go and get a log from our forest and we shall knock it down that. Might as well do another one while we're here. Right, do that one there. Next one. Yeah, collect. Collect. Oh, I can't remember how many it was. How many was it? Uh, commentary eight diagonals. 
diagonal It was eight, wasn't it? That should be enough then. That's it. And then we just need to do a research table that is two logs. So we need two more logs. We've got the stone axe. I can see stone axe is wearing a bit thin now. But we should be alright to get the two logs out of it. One, click here, two, right, we should be able to do that now, we craft that, again that's so that go into the inventory, and then we come back here, click that, that needs to be in there as well, that's all done, that can be crafted, So that, that, that is done now, we can right click to that, you have unlocked new knowledge about carpentry. Um, so basically that, give, that gives you more stuff to do. So if we go in here, you can see that we've got the yellow thing that is next to it, and now we've unlocked different things that we can keep doing. Um, you've got stoneworks, again that needs 20 large stone and 10 small and the stone axe so let's have a let's here yeah, if I do this that uh, I've dropped all the timbers we don't need them at the moment so alright let's move that out of the way but yeah you can drop anything you like um, let's grab some stones that are here might have to dig underneath a little bit in a minute. Uh, some more stones. Oh, I love stones. I love stones. I really do. Well, I've got... Um, what I do is I just do this video here. And then I'll bang another video up because Slim's just messaged me saying we want to carry on building the house that we were building on. So we're, um, I'll get on doing that very, very shortly. Uh, I'll show, I'll do some sort of scenes on that bit. Right, let's see if we can do the stone. What else was it? I can't remember what else it was. Stoneworks, so it's 20 stone, 20 small stone. Okay, so we still need quite a few there. We need another 10 more. Um, and obviously a stone axe. Right, so let's take the stone axe. Let's see if we can chop some of the stuff down here. Simplest tool of stone axe, right? Okay, I don't know. I want. Right, let's see what we can do with the shovel. No, okay, we're gonna have to use the shovel then. And dig. Let's dig here. I thought I was hoping it was going to work, but it didn't. So, but yeah, it's it's quite good because you can actually dig right down deep. You know, you can make yourself a right massive hole here. Uh, 
Oh, he brings back being a little kid, this does, I tell you. Digging, digging, and digging. There you go, see? Dug herself a nice owl. Just jump and try and get out of it. But yeah. So yeah, that is... There's a nice little owl. Um, but there must be another crafting bit for that then. There must be. Um, not sure how. So I don't know if there's any. Is there an axe? Got a stone axe. See, it's bound to be a stone axe, isn't it? What's it need? Small stone. Let's do another one. Let's do a new one. We're going to use it. Let's put that one there. Swap, swap them over at the moment. Put the good one in. Alright. There are big stones everywhere, right? So I'll have to get on with that, ladies and gentlemen. Well. I shall leave it there on top of this on a lovely world night. That's our base down there, see? Um, on a lovely game, this has been Metal Evil Engineers. If you like the video, please leave a like down below. Um, share the video if you want to share it. If you don't, then don't bloody do it. Um, thanks for joining me. Again, this is number one. I will carry on doing some of these if you want me to. Um, the only reason I got this game um, was because a few people on Steam told me about it um, and I thank you for them that are watching the channel as well um, because you're the one that obviously requested me as a friend and asked to see some stuff um, so yeah this is it I shall carry on doing some of this I will have a good look into this I like the idea of this game where you can achieve something in a survival game normally that's not very very that's quite rare to be honest with you you can actually have a game uh, a survival game and actually succeed it well, for me anyway, from personal experience. Uh, but until next time, guys, thanks for joining me. And as always, have a nice day.